Welcome back to Meshman Studio. My name is Peter Overstein. I want to take a look at the new uh, extension pack text tool. So when I have installed uh, the new uh, extension pack, I get this T button here. So that's for text. So I have a, a cinema style lens here. As we see here, if I just take my references here, we can see uh, there's text and numbers and stuff like that. So yeah, why not just add some text and numbers on this guy. Let's say it's a 35 millimeter lens or actually let's 85, that's a magic number, 85. So um, let's see, I wanna have a text here. So usually you have to go into Photoshop or Krita or something like that. And um, we don't do that anymore now. If we wanna add, add some uh, text, um, let's say that I want to have 85 here and uh, impact. So that's gonna add this one. You can have, the, have here, I'm not gonna go through everything, so I'm gonna link in a description to Jens Cafe video instead. But yeah, so 85 here, I wanna have a paint through image. Let's say that it's gonna be 2K in resolution generate text. Yeah, so there you have it. Can just place it here. Let's see. So in my reference, where is the 85? I think it's on uh, the side, so like this. Let's go to my tool properties. I'm gonna have exactly 90 degrees here on the rotation. So now the paint through is and can paint there. So now we have 85 there. I want to have a text on this side. Meshman Studio or something. I guess here ish. Yeah, why not? So we have uh, 85 Meshman Studio on this side. And um, let's say that we want some uh, some numbers and stuff down here so we can start to add that as well so yeah um, it's a it's a great addition you don't have to go in here if you want to just add a few labels or text or something you need some text you usually you have to just jump out and that's a bummer so yeah um, you can also use the paint buffer instead so now it's the paint buffer you can see that's the paint buffer instead or the paint through the so resolution and I guess if you so this one if you want to add uh, if you go to your image manager you're gonna see the text generator here is gonna be your text so if you want to save this now you can just make something that's more um, lens yada yada let's say that I want to save this generate it if I go to my image manager, it's gonna be updated here. But if you wanna save it into your scene, you have to rename this. So let's say two. And um, now my lens Jariada one, oh, my text generator one there, you can name it to whatever you want. It's gonna be saved into image manager. So now if I update this, Meshman test, it's gonna be next to that there you can say three and now I can close this and let's say that I want to use this again they are here now so then see I want to use this one instead measurement test so yeah uh, you can um, save your test uh, the text there as well so I guess I just have to add some uh, of these markings and uh, type some of, uh, let's see here, let's take my reference and so I have to add uh, like numberings and stuff like that. So let me do that quickly. So I'm just gonna blast on here, take some uh, more here. Looking here now, I just added some more text and next time I'm actually gonna take these masks. Uh, so I have my node graph here. It's gonna export this mask. So this mask here is 
what I'm going to use in uh, LookDev to drive these texts in Render Man. So right now it's just two colors here to uh, visualize. And uh, next time it's going to be LookDev and I'm going to use a procedural noise to get this. Um, if I zoom in here on my reference, you can see we have a very fine noise here. So I'm going to add that as a procedural in Render Man. But more on that in the next episode. So yeah, this was just a quick rundown here of the text tool and uh, and as uh, I said there's a link in the description to Jens Caffet's um, more in-depth explanation of the text tool as well. So go and check it out. Uh, it's from uh, the developer so I think uh, I'd rather leave it to him in this case. So yeah, see you on the channel. Bye bye.